Right then, so I'm leaving this little Lee. Uh, Lee. Um, there's a gate there, but you can go through the style gate here. And I've had to get my bike through here, but they've made it different. At one time you used to have to lift your bike over. Now you can wheel it in backwards and get through, but you never used to be able to do that. So welcome to Slader's Lee Local Nature Reserve, owned and managed by the Mendip Society. I'm jumping between photos and pictures all the time, but I will link to the small videos up so there's some continuity. It's a nice day for a walk. I hope it doesn't rain. I don't mind about the wind. It's not going to be a, a cold wind today. It's going to be welcoming, to be quite honest. I was up at Crook's Peak. I did the a walk along the West Mendip Way about two odd weeks ago. Look at that lovely view down there, look. Right down through the drove, look. The old pathway. Look at that. And I said to myself when I was on Crooks Peak, I want to do, explore some of the areas over near Winscombe, a different route. I might have done it without knowing in the past bits of it before, but I thought, no, when you go up through, I think it might be called Kingswood, I'm not quite sure, there's a wood in a minute, which was heavily pruned um, last year or the year before, heavily pruned by the forestry people. And it wasn't all to do with ash dieback, I can tell you that. Anyway, I've always wanted to bear left when I got up through the wood a bit and follow another path. Um, and that's what I'm going to do today. The aim is to come back to Winscombe and go home, not like try and walk to Hutton or anywhere like that. Just stay local. That's the plan today. It's Saturday the 11th of June 2022 everyone. It's supposed to be all right today, down in the south. It's supposed to be breezy, but it isn't supposed to rain. But of course, when you're on hills, hills draw clouds lower. And so sometimes you can get a bit, but I haven't brought an umbrella or any waterproofs today. <sighs> Nothing. I didn't even bring a carrier bag. I usually bring a carrier bag so I can protect stuff if there is a heavy downpour. <sighs> I didn't, but I have got a cover for the rucksack. Flimsy thing though. It's usually horses in the field here I speak to. Let's say there today. And here you get a lot of people parking and walking up here so who go into Crooks Peak for a picnic. So I won't be doing much videoing. Once I leave here, there'll be a lot of people gathering here. I can already hear them. And one day I want to go through, I want to do that walk. There's a walk that way. I'm wondering if that would take me to Banwell, if I did that. Oh God, they're still coming. They're coming through here as well. My goodness. Oh, here they go. Look, they're coming this way. Oh, lots of people. This must be a sort of resting spot. Oh. Must be a resting spot. Oh, checkpoint three. Three, a beautiful part of the wood. The mountain bikers are carrying on, struggling up the hill. It's quite slippery on the roots and on some of the uh, rocks. It's quite slippery this bit. You can't get your grip when it's slippery, you see? These um, are really old, some of the trees up here. It's really peaceful and beautiful though, isn't it? 
They'll all come in thick and fast now. I'm going to emerge up there. That old tree there. I've been giving them some encouragement, some of them. It's hard. At least it's in the shade, this bit. There's some ladies, girls taking part, which is good. This is probably the hardest part of their whole cycle, I think, this bit. Yeah, there's a few of them going through. There we go. So I said it's quite slippery. The tires can't always grip the wet, the wet roots, and the wet rocks. There's another old tree there. Look, oh, it's such a beautiful. It's beautiful this place. They did cut quite a few down at one time. I don't know if they're going all... I've got a feeling, you know, they go all the way up to the peak. And then back down again. I don't know if they're allowed to. I know they said they're doing 35 miles, but apparently this bit... This is a bit extra or something. But the all, it's probably a thing, oh, you've got to do the extra, otherwise you haven't really done it. I'll look it up later. They did have a good um, resting place where they could get fluids and food, top up and bike repairs if necessary. It's very well organised. Right. Now I don't want to walk in any... I don't want to go down so I'm just going to go up there. It looks like this is turning off. So this is Sheila, we're up on the Wavery Down. It's either Waverly or Wavering. We never get it right. And when we get on the top, we'll be able to see. What we'll be able to see? You'll be able to see the Axe Bridge. The Axe Bridge, I'm turning. Right, so what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to stop a minute. So I turn in there, let me have a look. I'm trying to think what bit I want to walk across. Right, yeah, I'm just going to turn off for a minute. Back on, it's a bit breezy, it's a warm breeze. I think I probably could have gone through a wood there. There was a pathway, but I thought I'll keep to the main routes at the moment. Now the bike ride's still carrying on, and right over there you'll see some marks. And I normally go up and down those when I'm walking, and that leads you to Crook's Peak over that way. Some bikers have reached the top and they're coming back down again. I don't know how far they've got to go. see some bikers sort of over there making their way up they've got to go up that steep incline yet and then they come down yet so we're probably lose sight of them I don't know how many are there at but because we'll, we'll be losing sight of that hill as I go this way and I've never I might have done it once sometimes I forget those early days when I'm exploring and it's possible I might have done this once. Not right, I don't know. I, d I can't remember, there's, there's no record of it, so I'm recording it today. Now over there, you've got Axbridge Reservoir, Cheddar and Axbridge Reservoir, which I walk around sometimes. I've got no idea how this is gonna come out because there is a breeze. But it's a lovely day. And that shoot shelf hill over there, which I climb sometimes, I go up a drove up there when I'm on my way 
to um, Robera Warren, which is the other side. I go that way and I come back that way. Now, right in the far distance, which is always in the mist lately, is Glastonbury Tor. Um, I don't even know if we'll be able to see it. I can't see it very well, but I think it's round about there. Glastonbury. In a week's time, it'll be packed with people. No, not next weekend, the weekend after, yeah. Not next weekend, the weekend after. Two weeks' time, uh, Glastonbury will have the first festival it's had for three years. God, I hope it don't rain now because I've brought no, no waterproof clothing. I've always wanted to do this route, by the way. But I haven't done it what I call on a regular basis. No, I don't. I'm normally going straight over to the peak because I'm usually on a long hike. But today I'm keeping myself to the Winscombe area and I will be doing a circular and coming back the other side of the hill. That's plan A. Yeah, hopefully Glastonbury might show its face in the sunshine eventually. But you can see you can explore all these woods here going into Cheddar. There's routes I want to explore going. I've been up there on the top. I've done a lot of it. I have done a lot of it. Um, but there are some patches further over that I'd like to do. Um, but I don't know what happens if I get round to it or not. It means a, it spends, that means a day over Cheddar just wandering. Sometimes, that's why I'm doing the... I'm not thinking, oh, I've got to walk back to Weston or I've got to walk to Hutton. No, what I'm doing today is just walking it feels like that cloud doesn't look very friendly, does it? Do you know what I mean? a spot then. Might not be much. There's much there's a lot more blue sky than that, but you could get drenched just by one big downpour of that, couldn't you? Right, I'm gonna turn off for a minute.